So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yeah, so guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today we've got you guys a brand new trading tutorial and one that I think is quite fun um, in comparison I guess to other trading methods. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be showing you guys trading with silvers and it's a little bit like the video I would have done two, three days ago. But it's actually using some of the new FIFA 22 I guess console mechanics. I say that like like it's FIFA trying to talk about hyper motion stuff. But yeah, we've basically got some brand new console mechanics that actually allow us to do a method I did last year, but a lot lot easier. And it, I say it's, it's kind of like a cool way of sniping. Um, and in my opinion, it actually makes sniping quite uh, well uncompetitive as such. So what you are going to be doing this for, for this method is you are going to be trading with expensive silvers. Just to recap, like the last method. In FIFA, there are loads and loads of expensive silvers at the moment. Now, it's not because we have league SBCs. It all comes down to this SBC right here. This SBC right here, if I can load it up, is basically a SBC that wants you to use uh, five midfielders, three silvers, and one nation, a.k.a. five English midfielders, all from different leagues, a.k.a. five Spanish midfielders, all from different leagues. And on top of that, they want you to use three silvers. So, what you can do is you can basically trade with silvers not from the mainstream leagues of those nations. So, for example, there's English players in the MLS. There's English players in the Serie A, like silver ones. And these guys end up going for about, um, I mean, they literally will have the market rate right now of about 5 6k. Now, obviously, when you guys log on the game and you go and see a silver Serie A midfielder from England, you don't go, well, that's a that's a card that's probably worth as much as Gabriel Jesus on this current market. You look at that card and you go, he's a load of toss, you know, I don't, I don't want that card. So as a result, you list them up for cheap. Well, people who know that they're expensive, like myself and hopefully you guys after this video, will therefore go and pick them up and sell them for the SVCs. It's like any cards you know who are expensive for SVCs. They don't look like good cards, but god damn are they expensive for the SVCs. So, how are we going to be doing this method? Now, we are basically going to be using this right here. Uh, this, like, I guess... I guess all this menu, um, which is really cool because again, we couldn't have done this last year. First thing you're doing is switching to silver. You're only going to be trading with silvers with this method. Second thing you're going to be doing is switching to midfielder. As I said earlier, the SVC wants silver midfielders, therefore you're not looking at defenders, you're not looking at forwards. And then the, the next thing you're going to be doing is I've got three nations that I'd personally trade with. That is England, France and Spain. And obviously you probably could do this with a few other minor nations, but you got to think what nations are people doing that SBC with? And a lot of the time they're actually doing this SBC with uh, leagues that have more, more than one league because if you need five leagues and the Prem's got the Prem, the EFL 2, 3 and 4, lots of people are going for England. Likewise with uh, Spain. But to be honest, again, you've probably did this with Italy and, Italy and Germany, but personally, I like keeping it to Spain, uh, France and England. So without further ado, let's have a little look at how we do the method. Uh, I guess first thing I'll show you guys is what I will put below the, um, what I will put in the description. It won't be with the data, because the data is what I do for my subscribers. But I'll put a empty one of these in below the, um, I'd say, below the, like, in the description. That's what, that's what YouTube calls it. And basically, what this is going to be, is this going to be a list of every single expensive silver. I'd say, what are the prices, because that's basically the difference between that and my sub, sub perk. Again, if you guys don't know, over on Twitch, uh, if you subscribe to me at Amazon Prime or like £4.99 a month, you get all the data I do for shadow trading, silver trading, and investments. Um, but what you do is you'll basically get an empty one of these. And um, what you can do is you can basically go through the players one by one by one. Uh, so let's go and do this. So in the uh, for England, the leagues that you can trade with are the Premier League, the Championship. You can't trade with this league and this league because there's too many silvers. So you've got the EFL4. There is one guy in the Ligue 1. There is one guy in the Serie A. There is one guy in the second Spanish league. There is one guy in the Australian league. One guy in the Swiss league. Uh, about th I think four players in the in the uh, well Scottish league. There is one player in the Eredivisie. Obviously, I uh, got a Reece Nelson, I believe it is. 
You then have, if not, I'm going to get butchered in the comments. Who else you have? You then have about three or four guys in the MLS, and then you have one guy in the uh, Super League. Again, if that's too hard to understand or you know to get, all of this data is over in this guide. What I've also done is conveniently put them in league order. So, for example, you'll see that at the top of this list is the Prem, and you'll see at the bottom of this, this list is the Super League, and you'll see that at the top of this list there is the Prem, and at the bottom of this list there is the Super League. So it makes it even easier. Can you just go through the leagues one by one by one and make sure that you don't miss anyone out? Now, how do you actually do the trading? We've, we've talked about how you find the players and that lot. How do you actually do this trading? I think I'll start off with the uh, the fourth English League. Is you basically go silver midfielder, you put a few K here, and all you got to do is basically put a, I guess, a filter where a few will pop up. So, I might go and lower this down here to 2.5k. There we go. So only a few have popped up. Now, what you want to do here is you now want to compare the price and see what the one you're looking at is compared to the next cheapest on the market. Because the idea, if he is 1.9k and the next cheapest is 2.5k, I'll go and buy him for 1.9k and send him for 2.5k. So again, the, the good thing about this method though, is you can do it on the web app. You can do it on the web app and it's also not very competitive. So I'm going to go and compare price. First one is 1.9, and there we go. Are we? Yeah, there we go. Next cheap is 2.9k. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy it. And you see, no competition whatsoever. It, it, like this is the best thing of this method. There is next to no competition, and it's even better when you know the market. So let's go to the next guy. All right, right mid, 2.2k. Well, in all fairness, what you've got to understand is if the last guy I searched was a right mid for 2.9k, this guy is also likely to be an EFL right mid for 2.9k. But we'll go and compare price. We've got one there at 2.8k. But there we go, 2.8k and then the next cheapest is probably again about 3 to 3.2. So I'll go and buy that and listen for the next cheapest. Let's have a little look at Payne, 2.5, next cheapest on the market, 2.7. I'll leave it, you know, it's not going to be an instant flip, we'll leave it. So there we'll be sitting there. See, I've been doing this method a little bit as of uh, recently. And then I go to the next league. So let's have a little look at what the guide says. Guide says, next league that I look at is CDM. Yeah, league is CDM. Uh, the next league we look at is the Serie A. So let's go and find what the cheapest on the market is. Again, we only want one to really pop up. I'll be honest with you, it's not going to be a deal if that happens. But yep, sec I mean, the first cheapest on the market, 3.7k. The next cheapest, 4.1k. I'm not going to go and buy him. We'll now head over to the next league, which is the uh, La Liga 2. I don't know how any English players ended up here. But uh, there's one over here. And we need to again lower it so that there's only one or less on the market. And I can once again tell you that there won't be a deal. 2.8k, compare price, 3k, no deals. So you basically see it's like, I don't know, in, in my opinion, it's a little bit like sniping, but just very uncompetitive and very chilled and relaxed. Because uh, I guess a fair few of the methods nowadays, they're quite fast paced, they're quite, if you don't snipe it instantly, you don't win it. So it's quite nice to have a, a chilled, you know, not so competitive method. Honestly, I could buy this guy at 2 2 and send him at 3k, but that comes from market knowledge. Because what will happen is, right, you'll do this method for like, I don't know, one, two hours or whatever. And you won't even have to start press compare price because you would have sold them in the past. Basically what I do here. So where's that Swiss guy? Or the Swedish guy? Like the Swedish guy from the English League, I've sold like two, three K in the past. So I didn't even have to go compare price because eventually you do this method for long enough that you just know that he goes at 3K. So I could buy that right there and sell it at 3K. But for the purpose of the video and for the purpose of simplifying this video, uh, we're not going to. So again, we've got Scottish uh, midfielders. Scroll to the end here, see if there's any deals. Nah, they're all up for about 253k. Erida Vizzy. Let's have a little look what we got here then. No, nope, again. Basically, the the I guess the simple way of putting it is you're looking for someone with a lot of coins between the cheapest on the market and the next and the second cheapest. And when you're I mean when I say a lot of coins at this level, you're looking at like a K. So I mean if these are all flooded for 4k and there was one up for like 3k, I probably would buy that, but again, there's not a big enough difference. But um, yeah, so it's a, it's a very nice, very chilled method, this one. 4K, we're getting one popped up there at the end for 3K, I'd go and buy it. So that's England done. Um, then we'll head over to France. I'm not going to lie, France has got so many players. I mean, let me go and show you right here, right? England has got the best part of about, I'd say, best part of about 20 players. France starts here and goes all the way down to here. So that is, I think, about 35 to 40 players. But I'll go through the French leagues for you guys right now. Probably want to lower the buy now down to about 1.5k. So there's a lot, a lot of players from the French leagues. Start off here in the Prem. No deals. Start there in the Championship. Nope, not going to be anything there. Let's see if I can find a league that I know there should be deals. Chinese Super League has some very expensive French play, uh French, I say Prem. Some French players in. If I can load over to the CSL. There we go. 
yeah. So you would underestimate how expensive some of these players can be. And I'd say this guy could go and pop up for like 2.5k. So, yeah, I mean, I've had some absolutely cracking deals on this guy in the past. But there you go. No deal on that guy. Uh, I know the MLS has quite a lot of nice expensive air silvers. So let's have a little look with that one. So you can basically see it's a little bit like sniping as in you just... If you really wanted, you could even put like a very low buy now here and just go for the league one by one by one. So there we go. I mean, there's another example. The cheapest of him is 800. I'll go and buy him and sell him at 1.5k. It's an easy 600 coins, but it's effortless. It's, you know, you're not stressed and it's not a stressful method. It's a very chilled, very, um, yeah, but it's not, I'd say it's a nice little method, really. Especially for you guys who, I don't know, if you're an old gen. If you're an old gen nowadays, you're a little bit screwed because next gen has a very fast processor in the console and they'll out snipe you. Likewise, if you're on web app, I think it's going to be a little bit slow. So going through these one by one by one can be uh, can be very, very nice. Um, the Liga Nuts has some expensive silvers in. Let's see if we can get some uh, get some nice example for you here. Left mid, where we know that's up for 2.5. So no buy on that. Uh, let's check the Saudi League maybe. That's it. I'm just trying to show you guys some examples. But obviously what's what's good about this method is once you know the, me uh, once you know the market, you can literally just absolutely, absolutely stifle for these one by one by one. Um, yeah, just you know, trying to get some good deals. CDMs, can we get a left or right mid? Maybe we do get a left or right mid. CDM, next cheapest on the market. Buy this one at one k. There's one there for um, I said there's one there for one four. But what my advice would be with silver trading, you don't have to worry about listening for the second cheapest on the market because all it takes is one or two of them to get bought. And you know, this one that I go and buy here at one k. He's up to 1.8k. So that's another uh, little bit of advice is there's no hurry to actually go and sell for the cheapest on the market because um, if you sell for the cheapest on the market, you're lowering your profits. So set up that to Bundesliga. There we go. Because if you've got 100 of the, you know, if you've got 100 of these silvers on the run or on the uh, on the trot on your trans list, you're looking, uh, you're looking all good. Bundesliga, again, I'm looking for left and right mids. All right, so the final league or nation is going to be Spam. I'm going to sell it to the old Despacito over here. And uh, what you're going to do is you are just going to go through once again, the leagues on here. Again, more like the Prem in terms of there aren't that many leagues. But there are some really weird leagues that I did not know. Well, I can't say I research, but for example, you got... What have we got? we got a Spanish guy in the Danish league. We've got a Spanish guy in the K league. we got... This is, a, this is a really weird one. We have Spanish players in the Polish league, but they are all cams. It is... It's something I did find very, very strange. But again... They're worth a lot of money. Like, look at this, eh? They're worth about 4k a piece. So if you go and search this and they're 3k, it's amazing. They're so, so strange that if you're Polish, you just, you go to the, uh, you go to the, you, sorry, if you're, if you're uh, a Spanish camp, you go to the Polish league. But yeah, so we go to the J league. Maybe we get a nice deal in the J league. But um, search that. It's a little bit lower. You got Borjan there. There we go. Okay, it might be a good deal on this then. Next cheapest. No, he's 3k. But um, but yeah, so you, you know, if you go through these leagues fast enough and you go through them common enough, what will happen is you will end up getting yourself some nice deals. So we're going to get one more deal to uh, to end off the video, maybe. If not, uh, if not, oh, yeah, another one. You got, uh, the guys are in the uh, Indian league. Left mid, next cheapest on the market. You're going to be nice, mate. There we go. We can, end the, we can end the video off with a deal. Next cheapest is 3.8 and 3.9. This one here is 2.9k. Very easy buy now. Maybe these guys will also be a deal for me. No, next sheep is 3-2. Maybe this guy will be a deal for me. Yep, you're going to be a deal for me. If you're up for 3-5, I could buy it and go and sell it for 3-4. Take like 300 coins profit, 400 coins profit. The profit you're looking to make on these guys, 500 coin plus. It's, you know, they're very simple and very easy players to get. So there's no hurry in trying to get the most coins in the world for them. But that is going to wrap it up. As always, I am streaming 24-7. So feel free to come in my stream, ask me any questions. As I say, do make sure to check the link below because this is going to help you so much because otherwise you're just going to be aimlessly looking through leagues. So this is going to have all the leagues in the uh, order and uh, yeah, should help you guys out. But thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys uh, do it. As I say, this, you know, I, I, do make, I do only make videos if there are methods that work. I don't make videos for the sake of it. So please do take my word that this is, you know, this is a decent method. And this is something I do on stream because it's very chilled. Very, uh, very nice, and it's yeah, you know, it's very easy to recommend to you guys. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Oh yeah, we'll probably see you tomorrow of icon trading. Um, the game isn't even out yet, but uh, yeah, we're on to icon trading, teaching you guys how to icon trade if you're on a higher budget.